In this little lesson, we're going to talk about using Illustrator maybe to create some artwork that's going to go on the web. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go under the view menu and make sure you have pixel preview turned on. By turning this on, whenever we're drawing graphics or moving them or transforming them, we can see if it's aligning to the pixel preview grid automatically. So make sure you turn that on before you continue in this lesson. So it's going to actually be drawn in a vector based artwork within Illustrator and then you're going to export it out as a pixel based file type to use on the web. Now because vectors are based upon math and pixel based is based upon the pixels of the screen sometimes when you draw something or create something in illustrator it won't line up perfectly with the pixels so you get this weird fringing so what i want to show you here is how you can create uh, what i'll call pixel perfect artwork i have a blank document open here and i'm going to turn on a few features so you can see this i'm going to go under here to view and I'm gonna show the grid. The next thing I'm doing, I'm at 100% of view. So I'm gonna zoom up here to 600%. So this is basically getting up to the point where I can see the grid lines much clearer. Now I'm gonna draw out a rectangle here. And I'm just gonna draw it out here and you can see it looks great. Now, what I want to do is I want to say, if I exported this out as a pixel-based format, does it line up with the pixel grid or the pixel artwork of my screen? So if I go under View and come down to Pixel Preview, you'll notice this gray shading around the black vector. That means it's not perfectly aligned with a pixel resolution. So I want to use this rectangular shape, but I want it to be able to be exported and look pixel perfect when it's on the web. So we can do that by using some features built into Illustrator to do that. So what I'm going to do with this selected, I'm going to click on my black selection tool and I'm going to click here and I'm going to come over here. Then I'm going to go up under the object menu and I can say make pixel perfect. So you see it moved the pixels that are making up how this would look if it was exported as a pixelated graphic or pixel based graphic. Now I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go control Z or command Z on a Mac. Another way I can do this is I can right click on the object and say make pixel perfect. Okay. I'm going to undo that. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to try to move it around to see if I can get it to line up perfectly. Let me use my cursor arrows to nudge it around. It just isn't going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again and say make pixel perfect. Now, when I drag this around or move it, oh, well, well now it's not pixel perfect anymore. Oh my gosh, so every time I do something, I have to right click and make it pixel perfect? Well, no, you don't have to. So here's the next step. If you know you're creating this artwork and you know it's gonna go on the web, so you want to initially lay out the design in Illustrator so it's going to be pixel perfect from the onset. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go up under view and you're going to come down to snap to pixel. 
Now it's not going to force this one into position. But since I turned it on to snap to pixels, can I now move it and will it snap into pixel locations? Look at that. So now it's constantly being moved, but it's constantly being set or aligned to the pixels. Let me zoom up here a little bit more. Notice these real small gray squares here in the grid. Those are pixel level grid lines. If I go under view and deselect snap to pixel, let's see if the grid changes. So it's off now. Can I move these so they're halfway through those little squares? Yeah, is this pixel perfect? I don't know. Oh, look at there. It's not. So as long as I go up under view and pick snap to pixel and then move this, it's going to always snap into position to align so it's pixel perfect. Now I'm going to delete this. So now if view and snap to pixel is on, can I just start drawing artwork? And will it always be aligned to the pixel grid? So it's always pixel perfect. So now if I right click on one of these with the selection tool and attempt to make it pixel perfect, make pixel perfect, it will give me a warning or not a warning, an alert that this artwork's already aligned to make it pixel perfect. So if you have snap to pixel turned on, everything I draw will snap to it. Now, don't be misled. It's only the perfectly horizontal and vertical lines that are going to align to that. Let's take this line tool here and I'll draw a line. Okay, let me take my selection tool. Now this one, see the ends of it aren't aligned. Let me see if I can make it aligned. Make pixel perfect. So now it adjusted the ends of my anchor points to make it perfect. Now let's do this. Let's take this and I'm gonna rotate this. Notice how it is all pixelated. That's because it can only align those paths, vertically or horizontal paths, to the grid. So even though I have snapped a pixel grid on, if I come over here and draw out an ellipse, even if I hold my shift key and make a perfect circle, I cannot make that pixel perfect. It's already as lined to the pixels as perfectly as possible, but I'm still going to get this gray anti-aliasing around that because it's not a horizontal or a vertical line. Now let me show you something else. Under the window menu, I have turned on the control panel. The control panel is this horizontal bar that goes above the document here in Illustrator. This used to be up all the time before we got the properties panel. But notice in this upper right corner, this little icon it looks like a magnet with three pixels or three squares by it. It's turned on. Now you watch that as I go over here to view and toggle off snap to pixel. Watch the icon. You see, when I go up to view and I pick snap to pixel, it's the same as me going under view. Let me turn this off. It's the same as me just coming over and clicking it on. So now things are aligning to pixels. There's a great little drop down arrow here. It says advanced options. 
So this comes up and it shows you a demonstration that while you draw things, if you have the snap to pixel on, it's automatically going to snap the pixels to what needs to be arranged. So it automatically does it. And down here, if I go to move something, as I move it or resize things, things are going to snap to pixels. So while I move it, the paths, the segments, and the anchor points are going to align. Or if I scale it, it's going to automatically align to the pixel grid. So if you are developing or creating graphics that may be used on the web, it might not be a bad idea when you start up, turn the grid on, under view, show the grid, and make sure you have on this button here that turns on snap to pixel, either here in the menu or if you click over here. So this is the purpose of having the ability to snap to a pixel grid.